Hi, and welcome to another Rockwood Bite at the Rockwood Academy. Today I want to show you why you should always check your kubeconfig files before you start interacting with your Kubernetes cluster. Not a lot of people know this, but a kubeconfig can actually delegate authentication with your cluster to another binary on your machine. This is called an off provider and is primarily used by cloud providers that want to ensure the service account you're using to communicate with your cluster is still active and valid. They do this by issuing short lease tokens that need refreshed on a regular. As such, Cube Control can execute the gcloud command or the AWS IAM Authenticator command before reaching out to your current context. There's no restrictions on what binaries can actually be executed. So let's take a look. First, let's run some harmless kube control commands. Before we get started, I just want to do an ls on my home directory. All looks good. Now, let's run get nodes, followed by get pods. All looks pretty normal, right? Well, let's actually take a look at what really happened. First, there are some new files in my home directory. Uh oh. And if we take a look at our cube config and jump down to the off provider script at the bottom, oh dear. So while these commands are pretty superficial, an attacker could execute SCP, RM, no preserve root, curl, or pretty much anything else. So be careful. Even when you download a kubeconfig from someone, always check the user section. Major props go to Grace. Grace got their first PR merged into the Kubernetes project. And it actually adds a warning that will be invaluable in making everyone aware of this potential attack vector. Grace, thank you. Everyone else, be careful. Have a great day.